Long ago, in a small town lived a young sports boy. He was a very good runner. The boy was very hungry for success and for him winning was everything. He measured success by just winning. One day, the boy participated in a field race. A large crowd had gathered to see the sporting event. Also, the wise old man, when he heard of the little boy, had gone a long way to witness with him. In that tournament, he competed against two other young boys. The race started, and it looked like the same heat on the finish line. The little boy certainly called out to his determination, strength, and power, took the winning line, and came first. The crowd cheered and waved. The little boy felt proud and important. However, the wise man remained silent, silent. Later, a second race was called, and in this race two young, well-qualified men came running to challenge the little boy. However, he started the race and it was confirmed that the little boy had passed and finished first again. The crowd cheered and cheered and waved for the little boy. The wise man was silent and calm again. However, the little boy also felt proud and very important. He started pleading, another race. Another race. Seeing this, the wise old man went ahead and gave the young man two new challenges. Among the newcomers, one was a frail old woman and the other blind. What is this? asked the little boy. This is not a race, he exclaimed. The wise old man replied, race. After all, the first line was set. The race started and the boy was the only one to finish the race, leaving two runners standing where they started. The boy was happy and raised his arms happily. But to his surprise, not one of the crowd was happy. Everyone just stared at her silently without showing any sympathy. What happened? Why don't people come to my success? asked the boy. Life is an inspiring story of ethical racing. The wise old man replied. Run again. But this time finish together, all three of you must finish together. The boy thought for a moment and then entered the first line and stood between a weak old woman and a blind man. Then he took both of them by the hand. He started the race and the little boy started to walk slowly, slowly, to the finish line and skipped. This time at the end of the race the crowd was overjoyed. They smiled, cheered, and patted the little boy. The wise old man smiled, shaking his head. The boy felt proud but did not understand why the crowd did not like him before. But now he is happy when the three of them finish the race together. He asked the old man about it, old man, I don't understand. Who is the happy crowd? Who is the winner among three of us? The wise old man looked into the boy's eyes and laid his hands on the boy's shoulders. He replied calmly, little boy. In this race you have won more than any other race you have ever run before. You have gained the respect of the people. Also, in this race, the crowd does not celebrate any winner. They enjoy showing respect for the way you run. You see in life. Your life. Why are you running? Are you hungry for success? Is winning the only measure of success in your life? Who are you competing with? If you always win against everyone, then people will soon stop congratulating you. At the end of your life, looking back, the question is, who was running next to you in the race? If they were weak and old, did you help them to cross the line? Finish together? Because that's the best race you've ever run? So, run. Run this race called life.